Hello everybody, this is Andreas from the Fast Track ADPL team. You can find our application Fast Track ADPL in the App Store as well as in the Play Store. I also want to inform you about another very useful application from us. It's called the VOR Tracker. This application helps you to practice intercepting of radials and also entry of holdings. This is very useful and I suggest you to use this app prior your IFR phase in your ATPL or for your simulator preparation. Today I want to talk about um, yeah, general navigation, especially about in-flight navigation. Uh, on the left hand side you can see the subcategories. I just select in-flight navigation. As you can see on the right hand side we have 53 available questions in this subcategory. Then I, and then I just start the training. I also want to show you the search function today of the app. You can see in the left top corner the search, search button and here you can insert all the terms or words or topics you're interested in. In this case I'm interested in peering today, execute it and then I can see all the questions which contain the word peering. I simply Select one of those and here we go. The question is, an island appears 30 degrees to the left of the center line of an airborne weather radar display. What is the true bearing of the aircraft from the island if at the time of observation the aircraft was on a magnetic heading of 276 degrees with the magnetic variation of 12 degrees west. So again we have four different answers and of course only one of them is correct. In our application we, pro we provide you with a step-by-step -step explanation of the solution and if you tap on the button on the right bottom corner the show solution button you can already see the solution step-by-step explanation and also a nice picture which helps you to understand the situation. As we want to know the true bearing of the aircraft we want to know the QTE and the formula for the QTE is the true heading plus the relative bearing plus 180 degrees. So in the next steps we calculate each component of this formula starting now with the true heading and the true heading is calculated as follows. True heading is the magnetic heading plus or minus the variation. As we are 12 degrees, or as the magnetic variation is 12 degrees west, we have to subtract it in this case. Either it is west or it is east. So in the next step we insert the values. We have the magnetic heading of 276 and variation minus because of west. Subtracting it from 276 gives us, a, gives us a true heading of 264 degrees. In the next step we calculate the relative bearing and the relative bearing is, if you might know it already, the relative bearing is a bearing measured with respect to the nose of the aircraft or to the aircraft magnetic heading. And as the island appears 30 degrees to the left of the center line, the relative bearing is 330 degrees. Simply 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. Yeah, and then we just insert the data in the formula from above. It is the QT, 
which is the true heading plus relative bearing plus 180 degrees. So we have 264 plus 330 uh, or 330 degrees plus 180 degrees gives us a QT of 054 degrees. Also as shown here on our picture. So we select the answer 054 degrees. This is correct. Uh, I do hope that you like this short video that it could help you to get better understanding of the term true bearing or QTE. Thumbs up for us. If you liked it, share it, please give us a comment and yeah, have a great day and all the best for your ATPL preparations.